Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, throw that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Impress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne Secrets. Welcome to the chalet located in Champagne City, baby. Join me, the Empress, for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink with chaos with a side of charm. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. You already know. I am sipping on my Moet and Chandon Imperial Rose. Drop in the comments and tell me what you're sipping on tonight. If your glasses are filled to the rim, go ahead and lift them high. Because you already know it's time for our positivity and affirmations. So if you're ready, let's go. Now I need you to repeat after me. Today, I choose me. I honor my worth, my dreams, and my journey. I say no to what doesn't serve me and yes to what lights up my soul. I prioritize my well-being and embrace my uniqueness. I am worthy of my love, my care, and attention. Today and every day, I choose to shine brightly as the masterpiece that I am. Cheers to you, confidants, for you are worth it. So y'all, before I get to the story, I want to pause and give a shout out to a few people. One is Big Mouth Media because back in January, I watched a live from him and in his live, he was encouraging people to launch out in 2024 and I fought it for the longest because the enter of the net is vicious. I'm convinced some of y'all need a hug, some love, some tussy, some ping. Better yet, I think some of y'all just need Jesus because you're just so bitter and nasty. Ugh, so I fought it for the longest because I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> now don't get it twisted. If push come to shove, I can push and shove. But some of us don't go back and forth. So um, I said I'm just going to create a safe place for people to come and chill detox from the day and sip on some bubbly and just have a good time right that's why my videos um are posted later in the day unless i do some during the lunchtime brunch but i really want to give out a shout to him because he gave some of us the courage to create our own space so cheers to you king and all that you do but then I came across this other channel and um, I've been hooked ever since Voodoo Doll TV and 
it was the name that really caught me. And when I heard her say Les Jones, <laughs> I said, oh, she from New Orleans for real. <laughs> See, I'm part Creole, according to my aunt. So I fell in love with her content. And no, for the people in the back, she doesn't believe in voodoo. It's a play on words. Because people think all girls from New Orleans know voodoo. And for the ones in the back, I hear you, but why the name? For the same reason you call yourself killer and ain't killed nothing more than a roach. Call yourself Benz and ain't never been in nothing more than Hyundai. A Lexus, but drive a Ford. You know, it's just a name. So I understood it from the beginning. But one day, the doll, as I call her, was saying that she needed some animated dolls. So, because I'm a graphic designer, all of the graphics that you see on my page are done by me. All editing is done by me. You know, I try to give you an (laughs) ambiance. I emailed her like 60 some New Orleans themed dolls and doll houses. And I told her that I felt like she needed some of her own. So I told her she can use one, she can use them all. Um, I didn't care and I didn't even ask her for any money. I just liked doing nice stuff for people and I knew it was something that she needed, something that she had asked for. See, it pays to be nice for all of you hellions. And she gave me a shout out on her channel and I started to see my channel begin to grow. We also talked on the phone and she gave me some pointers and tips for growing my channel and it's because of her that I started my Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries channel. And in speaking to her, it gave me the courage to just be me and I will draw the community that's meant for my channel. So I want to pause before I get into this story that I'm about to talk about and I want to say thank you to her. Cheers to you, Queen. So to Big Mouth Media, And to the doll, I pray that anything that you may be dealing with in this moment, that God grants you double for your trouble. This cheers is for you. Hey, confidants, join me in a cheers to the doll and to Big Mouth Media. So, y'all, I stepped out of the Champagne City for a second to stroll through Instagram Boulevard. And I ran up on Zeus Network T on the corner of Fruck Around and Find Out. And I saw Smiley from Baddies clearly trying her hand at a game of Russian roulette with Boosie Badass, right? This girl, I just, (laughs) I just don't understand. And if you don't know who Smiley is, Smiley is a member of the Baddies East cast on Zeus. And she is a character. Y'all don't understand. This girl is a character, or should I say several characters. She's the kind of girl who should be cast in a horror movie as the friend who runs to the danger instead of running away. Because she thinks everything is a game. Everything. Everything is for the camera. And she lives for a moment. But some moments can cost you the rest if you play with the wrong person. If they don't believe Fat Meat Greasy was a person, it would be Smiley. I'm just saying because everything is a game to her until it's not. Like when Biggie slapped fire from her at the reunion. You just can't play with everybody and she really better be glad that Boosie was in a good mood. So, so y'all listen, Boosie was at a game, being Boosie on the cam. Y'all know I love me some Boosie, right? I really do. But he was just chilling, having a good time, and just being goofy for the cam. And people were around him recording him. And apparently, he was given a jersey. And he had it on his shoulders, I guess, when he went out after the game. And he was taking pictures with fans. And someone snatched the jersey from his shoulders. Y'all, hold on. Watch this. I had a jersey on when I came in the Delta Club. Whoever got my jersey, I want my jersey. I got a thousand dollars for my jersey. Man, they lame as hell for that shit, dog. I ain't taking pictures with nobody else. Fuck that. Nigga stole my jersey out of my shoulder. I'm never taking a picture with nobody else at the home game. You done. 
just come and enjoy the game and have a good time. Nobody else getting a picture ever. Somebody took my damn jersey off my shoulder when I was taking a picture. I'm not taking a picture with nobody else at the game ever again. Cole Anthony gave me that jersey and somebody snatched it off my back. I had it around my shoulder. So now y'all, I didn't know who did it, but the caption said to keep scrolling in order to find out. Y'all, I, I cannot make this stuff up. Y'all look at this right here. Look at it. I was completely outdone because I said that this girl is a character. Watch this. She is taunting the man with his own jersey. They don't even play like this in the hood. You don't play like this unless you really bought that life and really got that heat. People don't play like this. And this is why I say Zeus has these girls' heads gassed up to thinking they are untouchable until they get touched. And this is the kind of stuff that will get you touched and not in the right way. This girl is damn delusional. Then, then listen to this. It, it does not stop there. Listen to this. Where my jersey at, bro? It's right here. You can come get it. You acting like somebody trying to steal your shit. Okay, well, send me the address. Send me but the address. why are you talking so crazy? Send me the you blocking us Ain't nobody block you. My phone is dead and I was in an elevator. No, it's not about that. I gave you nothing but respect and I just told him I didn't know. I don't want no fucking money from you. I don't want no bread from you, gang. I don't want no money. Who? I don't want no money from you. Who the fuck said anything about money? But I said, but that's disrespectful. You don't feel like that? This shit, that's cool. You can go and get this shit. I ain't tripping. It's out of respect. You calling me bitches. I just opened your message. Is it? Do, do y'all see this? Yup, yeah, for real. Zeus better get their chia pets on a leash. Because somebody is going to end up hurt. I keep telling y'all, somebody is really going to end up hurt. Because Zeus has these girls thinking. That they're tougher than they really are. You hear gang, gang. Really? Child, the only gang this girl know anything about is Charlie Brown and the gang. Y'all remember the recess gang when we was kids? Fat Albert and the gang? The get along gang? I don't understand why these girls want to be so hard. This entire generation wants to be tough and hard as girls. What happened to girls just wanting to be girls? Girls just want to have fun. Y'all remember that? But nah, everybody wants to be a thug. Everybody wants to be a gangster until it's time to do what a gangster do. This is why I say this girl needs to be in a horror movie because she the type will run up the stairs instead of out the door. This is what happens. When you don't have the good sense that God gave you. See, all of you practice looking hard ass girls just want to be tough so bad. Just because you run with a hitter doesn't make you one. Just because you saw one on TV doesn't mean you can challenge one. I need y'all to get it together. And this is the problem with this so-called new age reality TV star. You think a little bit of fame makes you famous and you're on the same level as the ones who have been in the game for a while. Then she got the nerve, the unmitigated gall to be talking about he disrespected her. Girl, disrespected what? After you snatched his jersey and posted that you have it? Child, you would have been about 12 inches with a B3 holes and a plethora of other names. And messing with the wrong one, it would have went worse. It would have went worse than that. Zeus has these girls gassed up. That's why I'm not here for it no more. That's why I'm not watching no more. Et sitting up here thinking she can challenge everybody to look at her crazy. Why? Because these reality sh TV shows of today have these girls gassed up to thinking they are tough. I'm telling y'all, when we were growing up, there was something called common sense. But what I'm realizing with this new generation of individuals is that common sense isn't quite common anymore. It isn't common anymore. 
and somebody is really going to end up hurt. Y'all, that's all I have for this one. I, I, because I, I have no words. I have no more words. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about Smiley and her shenanigans. <laughs> Confidants, always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Just look at her. <laughs> now raise your glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.